Hello, it's Karen Bernison here with a quick video preview of 10 new die sets that are available for pre-order on our website today. These 10 new dies will start shipping the first week of November in the order received, and you can check them all out on our website, karenberniston.com. So this release definitely has a winter and holiday feel to it, but you're also going to find a lot of these dies can work year-round. Our brand philosophy is that when you invest in our dies, you are investing in a timeless tool. We already offer so many great holiday themed pop-up dies. So what this collection does is enhance those existing dies with some new looks and embellishments. So adding to our existing decorator dies for holiday, we have the new holiday charms. So with our charm sets, you kind of get the best of both worlds because they always have a little hole that you can dangle those charms off of a pop-up or something, but then you can also just cut the hole away if you want to use them as standalone embellishments. And this is a good example of mixing in those new dice with some of our existing dice, like that penguin from our winter animals. I have had a lot of requests to bring back the Holiday House, which is one of my licensed designs when I was with Elizabeth Craft Designs. Now, it is the same house, but I did kind of update and refresh it a bit. The smaller section of the house now includes an optional brick stencil. There is a welcome mat that wasn't in the original. The lights have been changed so that it's just a single piece that fits the entire roof line and you don't have to cut it twice. I added a little piece of snow that fits the chimney. And then it also includes a little die to cut two boards. So you can board up the windows and the doors when you want to use it as an abandoned or haunted house. You have a ton of choices of generic pop-ups that you could use the Holiday House with, but it also specifically fits wonderfully on our House and Fence pop-up die set. Here's a beautiful card by Kelly Booth where she shows that combination of using the House and Fence pop-up as the base, but then swapping out for the Holiday House on the pop-up. Now you could also explore mixing and matching the roof lines and the windows and the doors between the two houses. You could make some really fun villages. One of our best-selling, all-purpose, year-round generic dies is our Fancy Label Accordion. And then we also offer the Fancy Flourish Frames as an add-on to decorate that accordion. Well, in this release, we have a new set of frames. So these are the Fancy Winter Frames. You can absolutely use those frames on their own. You get two styles in the set, the polka dot and the snowflake. And when you assemble them, they end up being about four and three-quarter inch square but they are sized to perfectly fit that fancy label accordion. Just like with the fancy flourish frames, they have those easy alignment corners. So you just put those corners right out to the edge of the page and then you get the perfect placement every time. Here's a cute winter greetings card by Kelly Booth using the fancy label accordion, three page, and then those fancy winter frames. And then here's another card by Kelly, and look how she's used four different colors of frame on the front of the card. And then inside, it's a four-pager, and by using just the polka dot instead of the snowflakes, then she's able to make that work for any season. There is one new pop-up die in this collection. It is our new Mini Pops pop-up. So this set includes four generic pop-up platforms that you can either combine together, as you see here in a top fold card, and then just decorate each of those different platforms, or you can use them individually. So this little note card that I kind of showed before uses just the little tiered stair step platform inside. I wanted to make the mini pops platform small so that you could actually use them in slimline cards. And this one's a little bit of a different take of a slimline card because I went ahead and separated it into four individual cards so that I could show all four of those pop-ups. So you get a stair step tiered platform, you get two angled platforms, and you get a spiral. And I've decorated this card using those holiday charms as well as our new slim frames. The slim frames were designed so that when you're making slimline cards, you can actually get four of them perfectly spaced on the front of a slimline card. But then of course, they're just their own independent frames. You can use those individually, combine them different ways. Here is a card by Kelly Booth where she actually used them on the flip frame pop-up. Speaking of slimline cards, we have two new die sets that are really geared towards making those longer cards, and those are our crosshatch long rectangles and our long nature edges. 
On this card, Kelly Booth has used both of those new long dies on the front of the card. This is a slim line design. And then inside, she's using the angled platforms from the Mini Pop set to make some little tumbling penguins. And you can see she's got the snowflakes from the Holiday Charms and the slim frames as well. Now those long nature edges don't really have a season to them. They do work great for winter and holiday cards, but you can change the colors and use them year round for any season. A category of dies for us that's pretty new but has been very popular have been our A2 size pattern plates. In this collection, we're adding two new styles. So we have the holly pattern plate and we have the snowflakes pattern plate. The holly pattern plate actually includes a second die because you get a die that will cut all 27 berries at the same time so that you can just glue those over the top and quickly change the color. And then the snowflakes pattern plate, that's just a single piece and it'll make an A2 size pattern. You can easily cut that down though to fit into smaller cards and even die cut it with some of the shape dies. Another very popular series of dies we offer are our pop-up ball dies and then the animal add-ons to be able to create all those stacked animals. So in this release, we have animal add-ons three. What the animal add-ons sets do is they add just the pieces and parts that you need to add to the surprise ball or bitty ball to make those stacked animals. So in animal add-ons three, here I've stacked the bitty and the surprise and made a moose. You can also do that just with two bitty balls or if you wanted to just with two surprise balls. So you can make a moose or you can make a reindeer. And when you're fashioning it as a reindeer, you might wanna put those cute little Christmas lights strung between the antlers and definitely pull those out and use those for other cards. And then the third animal you can make with animal add-ons three is a penguin. So here I've actually stacked two of the penguins on top of each other using a combination of the bitty ball and the surprise ball. These new dies are available on our website for pre-order starting today, karenberniston.com, but also do check with your local stores. We will ship the store orders first and everything from our website starts shipping the first week of November in the order received. Thanks for watching.